Hey guys, how's it going? I hope you're all doing really well. As always, welcome back to the channel, and today we're going to be reacting to some more Gojira. Now, it's been a little while since I've listened to some Gojira. Um, the first couple of videos that I did absolutely blew up. It's quite clear that a lot of you guys are huge Gojira fans, and the amount of requests that I've had to do more Gojira has been like absolutely off the charts, so I thought we'd get back to it today. Um, you guys have asked for so many different songs, and to be quite honest with you, I've really not known where to start. However, um, I put out a community post the other day asking which song I should do, and somebody requested me to do this song, which is Deliverance, which is off the first album. So I thought, you know what, what a good place to start getting back into this is just like go from the very beginning. Now the one thing that I am aware of is apparently the old stuff is a little bit more sort of, uh, raw and and technical and a little bit more like death metally so i'm looking forward to hearing what this sounds like in comparison to the, the the newer sort of stuff that i listened to in my last reaction videos so yeah let's not hang around let's get into the song this is deliverance by gojira okay that's all the production straight away There's the, uh, the gallops that we know these guys for. Oh, man, I've, I've said this in the last one. Pantera, man. Just sounds like Pantera on steroids. It's all about that double bass and the tram picking, right? Okay. Got the squeals in that. Dare I say I prefer this to the newer stuff? I, you get so used to like shiny, pristine uh, production and like new music these days, it's refreshing to hear like older style of production, a little bit more gnarly, maybe a little bit more low budget. I think there's an honesty in it that I really enjoy. There's the big dissonant chords. And they've carried all this through into their sound today, I think. There's the atmosphere that they, they still do to this day, right? <laughs> yeah. I really prefer this to the newer stuff. From, from what I've heard, anyway. Riffle-rama, man. Okay, changing up again. And there's that signature Gojira gallopy thing. I think that they've made a career on galloping. Yeah, that that sounds like a lot of the newer stuff that I've heard. Like if somebody said, "What's the Gajira sound?" I would say it's that. Changing it up again. I 
again, they've, they've carried the sound through, you know? It, some bands are kind of like unrecognizable on the first albums. But there, there is like consistency. Okay, that was savage. <laughs> like I said, I, I, you get so used to real um, shiny, polished production and stuff, like with new music that you hear, and it's so refreshing to hear like a, a band's first album where like the production isn't quite as as big, not not as high budget and stuff like that, you know, and everything's a little bit more raw and honest. Uh, you you can certainly see like the the blueprint with the song like this that, that they've sort of followed for like the later stuff that I've heard anyway. Um, galloping rhythms, big dissonant chords, squeals, right? Um, which is cool that they've kept that. A lot of it kind of reminded me of like um, some of like the Strapping Young Lad stuff. I'm a huge Devin Townsend fan. And some of those early Strapping records, they were that sort of same digga 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 just... You know, just like galloping riffs and stuff like that, which I absolutely love. Um, yeah, and and this just has that kind of debut album. You've waited all your life, and you you've got this like pent up anger in yourself, or whatever it is that you want want to get out there. And he, here's your chance. Yeah, you might even have, you might have one shot at this. Yeah, to 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 put an album out. The, the who knows what's on the other side of that first album. So you've got to give that first album like everything you've got, right? To to leave your mark on the world. And um, it's certainly got that, here we are, this is what we do, hear me roar kind of thing going on with it, right? Um, a lot of it kind of reminded me of Pantera as well. You can definitely see the influence, which isn't a surprise. I mean, let's be honest, with, with most metal bands, like, who hasn't Pantera influenced? Do you know what I'm saying? I really enjoyed, like, the vocals as well. They're a little bit more like the guttural sort of death metal stylings kind of going on there. And yeah, what a cool suggestion. So whoever you were who suggested this one, thank you so much. I've really enjoyed this today. And let me know. I'm interested to hear from you diehard Gojira fans. What do you prefer? Do you like this sort of old school Gojira where it's a little bit more in your face, rough and raw, um, with nothing held back? Or do you prefer like where they're at today where it's a little bit more spacey, a bit more ambient? It's still got the same weight to it, absolutely, but it's a little bit more produced and it's a little bit more refined. And let me know as well what you guys want to see me react to next. Uh, it doesn't have to be Gojira. What else am I missing out on? Let me know in the comments down below. Lastly, two things I want to plug real quick. Check out my new band, The Lost Cause. Uh, link down below to our debut single, White Lies. And also I started a Patreon up where you guys can get involved with the channel a little bit more. There's a poll currently over there. If you follow the link down below where you can vote on the, the next guitar lesson video that I'm going to do. Um, and you can submit requests on there and uh, you'll even get some exclusive content and stuff like that. So if you want to get more involved with this channel and what I do uh, and, and support it, uh, the link to my Patreon is down below. So that's the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed this one today. Thank you again for the suggestion. I love hanging out with you guys. And, and listening to stuff that I've never heard before. And until next time, stay well, stay healthy, and I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm out. Peace.